Hey gang, so for those of you who grade student writing and have an iPad, I've got a great way for you to give your students some personalized feedback that goes way beyond just red marks on a paper. So here's how it works. Instead of spending hours correcting student writing, only to hand that back to them and have them look at the paper and not have a clue about what all those red marks mean, I want to show you how you can use your iPad, along with a free app called ScreenShop, to help your students kind of see your thought process as you're grading their papers. Now, when it's all said and done, you're going to have created a video that you can give to your students and that they can access at any time that shows them exactly what was going through your mind as you were grading those papers and lets them know exactly what they need to do to get better without adding a whole lot of time to your workflow. So before we even get started with your iPad, I'm going to assume a few things. First, I'm going to assume that you already have ScreenChomp loaded onto your iPad. And if you don't, you can just do an iTunes search for it and download it for free. I'm also assuming that you and your students have Dropbox accounts. Now, if you have no clue what I'm talking about or if you don't have Dropbox set up just yet, uh, go ahead and watch this video here. All right, so let's break out your iPad and let's fire up ScreenChomp. ScreenChomp's a free whiteboard app that's from TechSmith that allows you to write on your iPad screen. Uh, you can record what you're drawing and also what you're saying, and then you can share it with your, with your students. One of the features that's really important for giving students that personalized feedback on their writing is that you can take pictures and also PDFs that are in your Dropbox account and import those into your ScreenChomp slides. So here's the big idea. What I want you to do is use ScreenChomp to correct your students' writing by recording those corrections on your iPad and also explaining why you're making those corrections. When it's all said and done, you're going to have a video that your students can review anytime, but it also allows you to use that face-to-face -face time you have in class to help them apply those suggestions that, that you've given them. To get started, let's select the background icon that's in the lower left-hand corner of your iPad screen. Then you're going to select Choose from Dropbox. And then you're going to select the student writing PDF that they saved in your shared public folder. ScreenChomp sees this PDF as an image, so you can arrange it however you'd like. You can pinch in to make it smaller. You can pinch out to make it bigger and then you can put your finger on that and just drag it around as needed to put it in the space that that you want. Now personally I like to set it up so I have a little bit of a margin to write in as needed but when you've got it all set you just go over and tap on done and you'll notice that this PDF is now on your screenshot slide and we can write on top of that as as needed. But what you can do is you can go down along the bottom here and you can select a pen color. You can also select a pen width. I like green in the thinnest color. Now here's a quick tip for you. If you put two fingers on your iPad screen, it allows you to scroll up and scroll down on those screen chop slides. When you're ready, press the red record button in the lower right hand corner. Wait for the countdown. And now everything that you say is being recorded as well as everything that you write. So your personalized feedback might look a little bit like this. Hey Cassie, this is Mr. Spencer and I'm just looking at the scholarship essay that you asked me to check. First thing I noticed is that you have, I guess that's two paragraphs right here, but they're not really indented at all. So I'd first want to go and make that indention. And also, since this is a formal essay, I would use, instead of aren't, I would use are not. Just makes it sound a little more, a little more formal. When you're done, press the square icon that's in the lower right hand corner. And now you can preview your video if needed, but you can also rename it by going up here in this area, tapping on that, and just, I'm going to name this one. Cassie Scholarship. Let it render by tapping on the screenchomp.com icon. To access the final video, all you have to do is go to the upper left hand corner and tap on that video icon. 
select your video. Once you have this video, you can tap on share. And now you can either email this to your student or you can take a copy of this link and post it on your website, whatever works best for you. But then before you conference with your students about their writing, have them watch that video first and then come ready with any questions that they might have. So this is just a quick overview about how you might be able to use ScreenChomp to help give your students some personalized feedback. I hope it gives you some ideas about how you could possibly tweak this to make it work in your own situation. And if you've got any questions, just let me know. Mm -hmm.